Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will cover Bed Bath & Beyond, trading under the ticker symbol BBBY. The market has been volatile recently, with many equities being up and down big time. So many people are interested in the stock BBBY because of the short squeeze potential. In this video, we will take a look at the stock from a technical and fundamental perspectives and determine what would be the best approach. If you appreciate my content, please consider to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out the links in the description below, as every help is greatly appreciated. Currently, the share price of BBBY is sitting at around $5.86, probably trying to reach the $6 level in very short term. To be honest, this has certainly been a very surprising move upward, considering the possible solvency issues that are still impending. So I think that the reason why investors and traders decided to pile in recently is because they have like a meme stock mentality. In other words, maybe in the real world, things are rough. Maybe they can see that the solvency issues are not going away, but they still want to go in regardless because for the lows, because the meme and because of the possible knee jerk reactions to redeem the short positions now that they're increasing. So this is, I think, the fundamental reason why people are buying BBBY shares. If we think about it, it makes a lot of sense because most shorts, like short squeezing stocks, are not exactly in a very good position, fundamentally speaking, regardless of what we're talking about, GameStop, AMC, um, Ethereum, or any other ones, or the MMTLP that we were that many people were um, were hoping to reach, you know, the moon in the recent past. Of course, for some of those things ended well, for others not so much. So this is why I would say that um, people are going in for the you only live once type of reason, and certainly not because they expect BBBY to start making money very soon even though uh like we're going to talk about in a second i think that you know the company itself bed bath and beyond has a very solid reputation and has a very solid track record as far as the customers go but there's just not enough of the customers and i think that ch times have changed and this is why the challenges ahead remain unchanged and um I would also say that BBBY needs to prove itself to the market if it wants this current momentum to sustain. Otherwise, we're looking at a situation where, you know, we would be relying purely on the speculative aspects and not really on the fundamentals. Regardless of this, I would say that BBBY is probably a good stock to buy if you're looking for some high volatility situations whether the volatility points up or down. So Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, is a home goods retailer. It was founded in 1971 and headquartered in New Jersey. It has shops in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So the company has a wide range of products for a home, including bed, bath towels, kitchen electrics, cookware, window treatments, and so on. They have a lot of home decor, giftware, and housewares as well. It operates both physical stores and e-commerce platforms, um, giving customers like a wide range of options to shop in their stores. One of the key strengths of BBBY is its strong brand recognition. So the company has a, you know, a decent reputation for offering a wide selection of high-quality products, and this over the years has definitely attracted a loyal customer base. The brand recognition also helps the company to successfully expand into new markets. So, so far we've talked about Canada and Mexico. You know, one day maybe we can talk about Europe or Latin America as well. Another strength of the company is its diversified business model. So, in addition to the core retail businesses, it also operates the brands and businesses like Christmas Tree Shops, Harman, Bye Bye BAB, and One King's Lane. So, these diversifications can also help, at least on paper, help the company to mitigate the risks and to generate stable revenue streams. Now, 
BBBY has been successful in developing strong relationships with suppliers as well, with timely payments and maintaining those relationships over years of collaboration. In recent years, though, the company has been facing some rough challenges, especially in the face of increasing competition from e-commerce giants like Amazon. Not that they don't also partially benefit from it, but what I'm trying to say is their competitors are legion, and the, the consumers for those kinds of goods are limited, especially in times of recessions. Additionally, the company has struggled with declining foot traffic at its physical stores, leading to falling sales and earnings. So to address those challenges, they have tried to focus on the e-commerce side of the business. They've been working to improve the websites and mobile apps, making them more user-friendly and personalized. They're also focusing on store closures and cost-cutting measures. The company has closed down many underperforming stores over time and also laid off a certain number of its workforce, closing down distribution centers and consolidating the supply chains. So those measures are designed to help controlling the cost, therefore increasing the net income. With that being said, it still remains under significant sell-off pressure due to company-specific and macroeconomic factors. So the main reason why people might be interested in the stock to begin with might be the stock market price action rather than the fundamentals. And I would like to comment on this. Basically, this is another one of those the company might not be doing so well and there are structural reasons for it, right? Especially in this case, it kind of reminds me of GameStop. So GameStop is a company that sells games in the retail world physically. Now, this like screams red flags. So it's the same case here. If we're talking about soaps and bath products, these are the kind of stuff that people don't need to, you know, to, to go outside of their door in order to buy them. So having a lot of stores is kind of a weakness at this point, especially when people are kind of used to get things delivered at their doorsteps. I'm not saying that BBBY are not making efforts in that sense, but there are heavy trends that are not in their favor. So really, it's one thing for them to make the effort. It's another thing whether they're going to succeed. And it's even another thing, so like a third thing, about whether people can find BBBY attractive. It could be because the company has a very high short squeeze potential, it could be because people think that, well, volatility will create additional volatility. So therefore, in other words, if the stock has fallen by like 95% in a day, you know that there will be mechanical like recoveries the next day or over the next few weeks. So in this case, I believe that this is what a lot of people are hoping for. They're hoping for this kind of non-fundamental uh price movement in their favor, meaning up. So with that being said, let's also talk about its ownership. More than 40% of BBBY's equity is owned by institutional shareholders, the rest being owned by retail traders. What this means is that while the stock has a relatively high volatility and is also a potential stock to invest in for the long term, theoretically speaking, um, in this case though, because of the going concern issue, I wouldn't really put the emphasis on investing just yet. So one key behavioral difference between institutional and retail shareholders is their investment horizon. The former has a far longer uh, view on things, with a focus on a company's fundamentals and the growth prospects. They're also less likely to engage in short-term trading and less affected by those volatilities. Retail, on the other hand, tend to focus more on short-term gains and more likely to make decisions on a whim. In this case, because 60% of the shareholders are retail, what this also tells me is that it's going to be a volatile stock and people are going to buy the stock or sell the stock on a whim. We want this to, for our trading um, scenarios, but I wouldn't say that this is necessarily great for people who want to put the money in in the long term. In fact, don't put your money in BBBY for the long term because there might not be a long term. I'm not sure if this company has a guaranteed going concern. So in this context, 
I would not recommend to invest in the stock, but to mainly consider the stock for its trading opportunities. One of the key catalysts that might explain the retail interest in BBBY is also, like I've mentioned before, the short squeeze potential. Due to significant short positions against it, there are currently around 73 million shares being shorted off exchange, representing 55% of the short volume. This can support the theory that there is a concerted shorting operation from institutional short sellers against BBBY because of the fundamentals mostly supporting this outlook. I consider that the short position size can be significant and that this can indeed play a major role in sending BBBY's price action to a much higher level. The takeoff would be unrelated to the company's fundamentals, but simply due to a supply and demand game. It also tends to be a self-fulfilling prophecy once buyers pile in. Now, it's also important to note that the short interest is not a guarantee of a short squeeze, but it's a metric worth monitoring for investors. It's also worth wondering that the short sellers may have valid reasons for their bearish sentiment, and a short squeeze may not happen. Given the situation, I would recommend to start buying BBBY shares in small batches, while keeping in mind that the short-term volatility should provide enough uh, like opportunities for the risk-tolerant traders, while keeping in mind that the solvency issues might still be present and hanging around. So as long as the holding period is for short-term swing trading, um, I would say that it's fine. Just remember, don't put in for the long term at the moment. The maximum exposure I would personally recommend for BBBY would be within 1% of your portfolio's capital, which should be spread over the next few days. 